Okay, number three gives us several tasks. We're going to use the points marked to write an equation to represent the situation. So we'll write an equation to represent the situation. We're going to identify the rate of change in the initial value and what each means in this situation. What each means in the situation. So part one. So it looks like, according to our graph, that the accountant's minimum charge is going to be $80. Even if they only spend zero hours on it, you're going to spend $80. So we know that that's going to be the initial cost. So $80 is the initial cost. And let's calculate our slope. So we know that we're going to rise up this way and run over to this one, which leaves us at 300. So this is at 300 on the cost, and this is at 80. So we'll subtract those two to find our slope, right? So how far this is rising. In this case, that's 220. So the rate of change is 220. 220 for every four hours. So if it's 220 for every four hours, $220 for every four hours, we can find our rate of change as a unit rate by dividing those two. And 220 divided by four, it looks like is $55. So that means he's gonna charge $55 for every hour he works. And that's our equation. And in the process of finding that equation, we also found our rate of change, which was $55, $55 per hour. And then three, our initial value was, of course, 80, where he starts off. And what do each one of those means? Well, $55 per hour is his hourly rate, right? So we know what that is. And $80 is probably some sort of initial service fee or a base charge. So we'll call it his service fee, service fee. And that answers our equation. We've got a rate of change, our initial value, and the meaning for each one of them. We are done.